Good day to you. Why, you're looking at him. Is that so? Let me take a look. Hmm, I see. I've always said exhibitions are a great way to drum up military support, in addition to serving as an opportunity to sell Japanese products to the West. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Eiichi Shibusawa. I am in charge of the government treasury. I have some ideas for items that might garner attention abroad. Perhaps you could assist me? For instance, in procuring ukiyo-e paintings, lacquerware, or even satsuma pottery. Now, if only we had the contact who could help us. Ah, uh, this is knowledge I picked up in my youth. I used to travel here and there on business, you see. Oh, do you have a lead, perchance? Oh, you mean to say you're acquainted with her? Excellent. This should be smooth sailing. Can I ask you to take care of the Satsuma pottery in that case? I'll send word to the Satsuma myself later. When you have made some progress, do let me know. Meanwhile, I shall endeavor to gather the other goods. Well, in that case, you may pass. Let Okubo know what your business is. He's by the no stage inside the house. Just make sure you're on your best behavior. So, are you ready? Good. In you go. Why? Go to the trouble of dismantling it. 
We must keep the peace within the clan. I fear that we have little choice. Kuroda, this is the one who helped me fend off the blue demon. Oh, I see. You're really something, huh? Kiyotaka Kuroda of the Satsuma at your service. What can I do for you today? Apparently, this no stage is going to be dismantled. Many in the Satsuma clan are far more interested in firearms than they are in the arts, you see. That's fine. But first things first. I am under strict orders to inform a certain someone should you ever appear. I'm just going to get someone. In the meantime, perhaps you could show us your fighting prowess? We are almost eager to see more. That is a lot to ask of a guest. Come, surely you are as intrigued as anyone. Show them what the Satsuma clan are capable of. <gasps> then allow us to test your metal. Here I come. Thank you for sparring with me. Both of you were most impressive. I owe you for your part in my encounter with the blue demon. I thank you. But might I ask from whence you hail? I see. Forgive my boldness, but anyone capable of defeating the Blue Demon should definitely be in the employ of the Satsuma. Very well. We will not pressure you. After all, a stray rather loses its charm if it's put on a leash. At the very least, you can aid us with this pottery. I received a letter explaining everything. You see? I shall arrange to have it sent to Shibusawa, or whomever it was. Come for pleasure next time, not business. We'll have a drink or two. Okubo included, of course. Compliment.
come, come. Oh, it's you. I understand you work for Katsu now. That being the case, there's a duty I would have you perform. <laughs> I was the wife of the previous shogun, you know. There's no hiding such things from me. Ah, but I speak in jest. Katsu serves the shogunate. It stands to reason I have dealings with them. The duty in question is the protection of the shogunate vassals. Following the purge, resentment towards the shogunate has continued to grow. And of late, I've been feeling uneasy. Without definite proof of a threat, however, I can't set people to work. Thus, I would turn to you for help. If you have any other questions, I'd be glad to answer them. I have. Aside from your good self, I've recruited a number of capable individuals. Lord E was surrounded by no few bodyguards, yet he was still slain. We cannot be too cautious. So, will you do it? Will you protect the retainers? Wonderful. I can see why Katsu places his trust in you. If something were to happen, it would be after everyone has left the castle. You may stand by in the area till then. It appears I was right to feel uneasy. Katsu's escort has not returned. Indeed, I'm depending on you. We can't afford to lose Katsu. Not now of all times. I will come with you. Whatever is happening, I wish to see with my own eyes. If it's dangerous, then I trust you to protect me. I have made my decision. Let's be on our way. But my dress is not suited for the rains. I'm afraid you'll have to give me a lift. <laughs> Let's go. The last time I rode like this, I must have been with my stepfather. was assaulted at the fireworks display on the Sumida River. He ought to have been more careful. He is a true patriot, you know. We must protect such people at all costs. along the way. Mind me. 
You're here! Unfortunate. Cut down all those who fight with the Sogonate! for a moment there. Sorry for the hassle. You. You're from Satsuma, aren't you? What if I am? Well, well. This is quite the predicament. If she were to find out about this... It seems the situation is under control. I'm glad both you and Takashi are safe. As for the villain. What? Nakamura? Oh, princess, what are you doing here? I should ask you that. With Lord E's death, Satsuma should have made peace with the Shogunate. Yet, here you are making trouble. With all due respect, I think that's a mistake. The Shogunate should not have opened up Japan. It isn't fit to rule. Mr. Saigo would surely say the same. Imbecile! The Saigo I knew would never think of doing something so foolish as attacking Katsu. I won't listen to any more of this nonsense. You'll be dealt with later. Now be gone from my sight! Forgive me. It's just... I wasn't expecting to see a familiar face. Of late, I had been feeling that something was amiss at the residence. In hindsight, that must have been the source of my unease. The blame for this incident lies with the Satsuma. We've caused a great deal of trouble. And for that, I apologize. Katsu is the rarest of men, one who possesses both ambition and talent. It wouldn't do to have him leave us in such a manner. Mm, please, you, you'll make me blush. So, as to what happens next, it'd cause complications with the Satsuma if we punished Nakamura. I believe it'd be best to simply pretend none of this happened. As you say, my thanks, Katsu. I must thank you as well. Your service will not go unrewarded.
over here. Ah, you came. Thanks to your efforts, I've received a fine piece of Satsuma pottery. It should fetch a high price overseas. At any rate, I was hoping to exhibit an ukiyo-e print and its woodblock at the upcoming international exhibition. As it happens, I found a collector who owns a masterpiece of the genre. After some negotiating, he agreed to lend it to me, if I did a certain job for him. Can I count on your help? The Collector is a very wealthy man, so I'm sure we'll be duly rewarded. <laughs> That's the spirit. Besides, the Collector is presently right here in Edo. Let me take you to him. Shall we be on our way? Ukiyo-e can be cheaply manufactured. You just need the original woodblock. That's why it's popular among the masses. The piece we're borrowing is by a famous artist named Hokusai Katsushika. The owner is a great admirer of his works. We've arrived. I wondered who it might be, but I wasn't expecting you. So, you're not entirely an enemy of the state, I see. Before you ask, I haven't seen your samurai friend. I don't know anything more, so let's not waste our time. By the look on your face, I dare say it wasn't the most heartwarming of reunions. Oh, you know each other? Excellent. Then let us get straight to business. We will take on that job you mentioned, if you'll kindly lend me the woodblock. Ah, yes. It is my hope that it makes waves at the International Exposition. Unfortunately, there's talk that someone is trying to steal it. I will not stand idly by and wait for these ruthless scoundrels to take my property. And that's where you come in. To root out some thieves? I agree. We mustn't leave such men to their own devices. In fact, I'd be more than happy to oblige. Oh, a connoisseur, are you? Then I shall rest assured you're the right one for the assignment. In any case, the first thing we need to do is lure the rats into the open, then nab them. Naturally, we mustn't let any harm come to the Consul General. Therefore, as soon as the thieves show up, we should whisk Mr. Harris to safety. Well then, let us get ourselves ready. the hog side for you. Even the wood block is magnificent. Uh, I can already imagine exhibition goers marveling at the exhibit. <laughs> With this, my acclaim shall flourish. You've done exceptionally. Please, leave the rest to me. This way. Oh, they're here! The thieves! Quickly, to the console! Ready? What the? It's a trap! <laughs> Oh! 
It sounds like they have accomplices. We need to get to the console at once. I... I couldn't stop them. They've taken the wood block. I'll tend to the console. You go after the thieves. You're coming with me to the Commissioner's office. But first, tell me one thing. Why were you so anxious to get your hands on this woodblock? Hokusai's bold compositions are said to capture the true essence of the ukiyo-e art form. Surely, there are correctors who'd pay anything to own one. I can see that you are not some simple outlaw. Tell me, have you ever worked as a merchant before? I have. It was my former occupation, but I've since fallen on hard times, as you no doubt can see. Now, I have neither status nor money. Therefore, it was my intention to steal the print and gain a second wreath on life. I can understand the desire to covet that which all the world deems a masterpiece. But I'm afraid that thievery will get you nowhere. Now that Japan has opened its doors to the world, we can expect there to be many changes in the way we do business here. International trade will serve as an opportunity to greatly enrich our nation. But to make the best of it, we'll need the support of merchants like yourself. As a vassal of the Shogunate, I vow to remake Japanese commerce for a new age. And I hope you'll contribute, too. By honest means, of course. I'll consider it. But you better not be paying me mere rip service. That's the end of that business, I suppose. Here, a bit more than I promised. May it help you find your samurai friend.
Impressive! I wasn't expecting you quite that quick. Truth is, we're being graced with the Shogun's presence today. He's here to observe a little martial arts competition. You'll watch too, won't you? Good! I'll show you inside. This is the shooting range, where they teach Takashima-style gunnery. A vital skill for these changing times. Here's where they practice horseback archery. Eventually, they'll start learning Western horsemanship too. This is the fencing hall, but it's been converted for the competition. I believe the Shogun should already be here. Finally here. I asked if you could enter the competition, by the way. Nothing. I just thought you'd want to. No need to thank me, by the way. I heard the Shogun himself will give you your prize if you win three matches. Can't say the prize isn't appealing. But honestly, I really just want to meet the Shogun in person. They say he's sharp, you know. And sensible too. So, are you ready to fight? Then off you go. With your skills, you can't lose. Just go mop the floor with them. Then get going. I'm in your corner, remember. Make me proud. Skilled warrior. Let's begin. Ah, 
I knew you could do it. How are you feeling about the next match? Good. Just keep up the momentum from your last fight. I'm counting on you. Made it this far. Now you just need to win your next fight. Well, are you ready? Win this last match, and the prize is yours. I know you can do this. educational experience for you too. May we spar again soon. You did it! The prize is ours! I saw the whole thing. A fine display. Now, how about we test those skills in one last bout? Oh boy, now you want a piece of the action? As long as you don't make us forfeit the prize if we lose. Now, you made short work of Teshu and Deshu. This time, I think I'll start with my sword drawn. Only joking, <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. But His Excellency did say he would like to witness you fight one more time. Which is why I, busy though I am, have come to make this request. Oh, and His Excellency has requested real swords for the next duel. Your opponent has already given his consent. No two ways about it, your life will be on the line. So, how about we sweeten the pot to make up for it? After all you've been through, you're not scared of real steel, are you? Just one more bout to go, my friend. Ready to go? 
I know you're going to win whoever it is you're up against. I believe in you. Certainly showed me. Hmm? Ah! Hey, I know you. We met in Yoshiwara. <laughs> Mistaken identity, I am sure. I am Yoshinobu Tokugawa, the Shogun. The Shogun? Are you serious? <laughs> Seems I let the cat out of the bag. We had no intention of disrespecting you, Your Excellency. Hey, where are your manners? No need to be concerned. Losing to you was invigorating. Invigorating? Indeed. I mean, you dodged the shuriken. Finding warriors like you is no easy feat. Ah, the next bout. With warriors of this caliber, I know I can put Japan back on its feet. I will make our nation the equal of any foreign land. You wait and see. Something, aren't you? I can't believe you managed to win against His Excellency. <laughs> you should be proud. His Excellency is a master of the Shuriken. Feel free to make use of this place from now on. You need to hone those talents of yours. Do 
Do you really intend to obey the Imperial Court's order and go to Kyoto? This is a fine opportunity. Kyoto is where we can find those who wish to topple me and put the Imperial Court in my place. So, let's get on the front foot and bring this conflict to an end. You didn't think I meant to go unprepared, did you? Tadamori! Sir. As military commissioner of Kyoto, you will go as my advance guard. You may take your pick of my finest warriors. Your Excellency, allow me to gather an army to defend Kyoto. I shall find you truly worthy soldiers from all levels of society. This is madness! You'll attract scoundrels! You'll open the door to traitors! Let them come. We shall deal with them all in one fell swoop. I leave this to you, my lord. Now if you will excuse me. Yatsu says he's got another favor to ask of us. Apparently, it's something he can't ask anyone else. Raring to go, huh? That makes two of us. I have a feeling Japan's really going to change, thanks to Katsu and His Excellency. I've got a feeling we're about to be given something big to do. And I, for one, can't wait. I'll get going first. Let's meet at Katsu's place. There you are. You. We're busy looking for someone. Can I trust you not to get in our way? Word is a renowned martial arts master is training on this mountain. So we've come to hone our skills. I'd really like to get to Takasuki's level one day. My word. Can you not go two minutes without mentioning that man's name? You don't want to talk? You're constantly going, Kusaka this, Kusaka that. Moving on. You hammered us good and proper at Ine's place. We're painfully aware of our need to grow if we're to achieve anything. We wanted to have Dr. Ine show us how to make the poison. It would have made a fine arrow in our quiver against the Shogunate. Sorry to disappoint you, but we were working alone. We were merely hoping to bolster his plans somewhat. Hey, I just realized. The martial arts master we're after competed in the tournament at the military academy. Didn't you compete too? If you're already acquainted, would you ask him to let us train with him? Ah, thank you. Much obliged. Over there. Is that him? 
He looks kind of young. You there? You're not Jigoro Kano, are you? Yes. Can I help you? Ah, I remember you from the military academy. Famed. I don't know if I'll go quite so far. Though I suppose I've received a fair bit of attention since then. And we're acquaintances too. I wonder, would you be so kind as to teach us to fight? You want me to teach you? Hmm. I've had some nasty rumors about Choshu of late, and as a member of the military academy, my hands might be tied. Very well. After all, you did go out of your way to find me. I suppose we could run through a few training exercises. Wonderful. We're very much looking forward to it. There's a place up ahead Alphen used to train. Let's go over there now. This is where I practice my hill sprints, where I run full steam from the base all the way to the top. By using often neglected muscle groups, I strengthen not only my legs, but my entire body. Naturally, it also helps to build stamina. I don't know. This sounds rather basic. Yeah, let's make it interesting. What if we race to see who can reach the top first? All right, time to finally show you who's boss. Master Kano, give us the signal. Very well. But remember, this is training. Ready? Go! I've got this! I can perfectly hold my own here. Right then, let's move on to the next exercise. This is where I like to practice sparring. I want you to face off one on one with another as if you were engaging in a real combat. What technique you choose is entirely up to you. I see. Got any tips before we begin? The success of your training depends on you and your partner. That is, you must approach your fight with a willingness to help each other succeed. Got it. Master Kano, it'd be my honor to train with someone of your caliber. I expect you'd be able to wipe the floor with me, would you not? Yes. Well, I'm afraid you're not quite at my level. But perhaps the three of you could try and take me on together. <clears throat> what? The nerve of this guy! We'll make you eat those words! Come on, Ito! Let's get him! The three of us can take him down! Please come at me, however you'd like! You're fooling yourself if you think you're the best of the three of us! Don't come crying out of us. Mustn't overreach.
One against three was a bit ambitious. I can't believe how much one man made, made a struggle. I underestimated him. I suppose that's what you get from a famous martial artist. If we keep training like that, do you think we could get that strong? I suppose. Shall we get back to it then? I should thank you, too. I appreciate you vouching for us. We're going to get stronger. Just you wait. Strong enough to pay back what we owe you one day. I know you. Don't tell me. The Ronin from the military academy. You'd think so, but my name is better known than are my features. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't stick out too much. At any rate, I have been looking for a capable fighter like you. Moreover, Someone without ties to the Shogunate. You see, it seems that some of my retainers have become involved in shady dealings with a merchant. It was I who disclosed the matter. The same thing happened in Yokohama, remember? I figured that there was something rotten in the state of Edo. At any rate, our friend here should be able to put your man in line. <laughs> Which is why I'd like to procure some irrefutable evidence. With this camera. Got it? What a fine idea! Hey, you still have the camera I gave you? That would be the natural course of action, I'm told. But I have no intention of hiding behind my title or my castle walls. Besides, I try not to leave to others what I can do myself. Well, will you help me procure the evidence I need? I'm afraid that calling on a servant would only complicate matters sorely. Good. 
We'll head out when the alleged deal is set to take place. The Shogunate is big and it's unwieldy. Even I cannot deal with corrupt officials as I please, and I'm the Shogun. I hear the scoundrels have gone from merely taking bribes to selling arms to the highest bidder, whoever that may be. That's why we need to secure proof. But to be clear, this is not an assassination. This is where the transaction will take place. Let's slip in undetected. hooked ourselves a big fish. How come you're here? Master Katsu had us follow you at a distance. If only we had not lost sight of you. Worry not. I'm much obliged. That Katsu. Always one step ahead. I suppose... I owe you my thanks as well. Yes, thanks to Takahashi's big mouth, calling out Your Excellency rather gave the game away. Uh, but what's done is done. Get some ninja to look into that old man, will you? I'd prefer to have seen those criminals tried, but I suppose the result would have been the same. Sorry to have troubled you. <laughs> <laughs> 